In this section, I want to add two bodies to my part, a punch and a matrix. And I'm going to show you some tools that you can use to create offsets. You can intersect your bodies together and these things. So let's go to insert body and add a body here. This body is going to be renamed to matrix. And I click on OK. Now I want to have a reference object here. So I click on join. I right click on the join. And that's here. And copy this and paste it inside the matrix. And now that I have pasted it inside the matrix, I can go and hide the part, but I don't need to see this here. I just want to have the join under matrix. Now that I have this, I go to XY plane, go to sketch environment, and create the rectangle here that is bigger than the bathtub. Now, the actual size is not important for me. I just want to have symmetry. So I click on this line, press Ctrl, click this line, and select the center line, and add a symmetry. I just need to know that this is bigger than the bathtub. So I select this line, select this line, and select the center line, and again select symmetry. Now, to complete this, I add these constraints too, so that you can change it as you wish. So I exit my workbench, and I want to add some padding to my shape. So let's go to Part Design Environment, because that is easier to find the Pad Tool under Part Design Environment. So I select the Pad Tool here. Make sure that 750 millimeters is added in one direction, and I click on More. Make sure that 100 millimeters is added in the other direction. So I have this added to my shape. Now that I have this, I want to intersect the join that is the inside and this padding that I have here. Now, before doing this, you should remember that we have a thick surface. The actual surface has thickness of 2 millimeter in the outside and one millimeter in the inside. So I need to remove two millimeters of this before intersecting these two bodies. So I need to add an offset to my joint. And that offset is going to be two millimeter in the outside and one millimeter in the inside. So let's go to generative shape design environment. Now I'm going to add an offset, go to surface, select the offset, and I'm going to add this offset to join. And remember that offset is going to be in the other direction because I'm going to expand this join to the outside by two millimeters. So I select the reverse direction, I type in two here, and I make sure that this joint is going to be 2 millimeter bigger than the thing that is right now. So I click on OK. I have added this offset to my shape right now. After a moment, it tells me that I have some problem adding this. Let's see what is the problem. I guess there is no problem. It just was a warning. And that's OK for me right now. Now that I have this offset added, and now that I know that this is 2 millimeter bigger than the thing it was, I can go back to part design environment, go to insert menu, go to surface base features and select the cell surface. This is actually intersecting the two parts that I want to. So I make sure that intersect body is selected here and I select the join as the only surface that is available here. You can see that it tells me I am joining to the inside part of this pad. I want to have the other part. I mean I'm going to preserve the other side of this joint. So I make sure that this is in the reverse direction by clicking on the arrows. Now that I have selected this, I can click on OK and make sure that the inner part is going to be removed, the outer part is going to be preserved for me. OK, now I can hide the joint. And of course I can hide the offset too. But that's OK for me. Let's move this down using the translate 
under insert transformation feature you have translation and uh, it tells me if I actually want to do this yes I want to do this now I'm going to have about 1500 millimeters and of course it's going down so I need to have minus 1500 millimeters and it's going to be under Z direction the Z direction is this so you can see that it goes down like this so I have this here now this is the offset I can hide this as well because I don't need this so I hide it or of course I can select the translate and instead of selecting this I could have selected matrix before translating so let's delete the translation by clicking on delete select the matrix and go to translate insert transformation and translate that's going to be this and that's going to be under Z component now I click on OK that's it now I hide the matrix again and I want to create a punch right now so I collapse this go to insert select body and rename the body to punch again I need a reference object under punch so I click join and copy this and right click on punch and paste it now I have a reference object here like the matrix I click on XY plane go to sketch environment this time I do not need to add any constraint because I'm removing some excess extra part of this I just draw a rectangle that is a little bigger than the bathtub so I exit my workbench select the pad tool 750 millimeter in one direction is OK so I click on OK again I need to go back to generative shape design environment because I want to make sure that this is one millimeter inside that means I need to have an offset toward inside of this so I go to insert menu go to surfaces and select the offset from here and this time I type in one millimeter I select the join under punch and now you can see that it is actually adding one millimeter and it's going inside so I click the preview and make sure that there is no error and you can see that this is done like this okay I have done this now I need to go back to part design environment you can see that I am shifting between environments many times and that's because I need some tools under the menus because I'm working uh, you know that's easier for me to uh, select the tools from menus of course uh, you do not need to do this if you have the correct tools selected here I go to sur surface base feature and select the surface here and again I'm going to select offset this time and this time I'm going to preserve the inside so I do not need to change the direction but I need to select intersect body again and I click on OK make sure that the offset is selected for the surface not the join now I have created this I can hide the offset I can hide the join now I have the actual punch here again I select the punch go to insert menu transformation feature and select translation I accept this I want to have 1500 millimeter in the Z direction and that's going to move this object up so I click on this I right click on matrix and show this and I can right click on part body and show this as well now you can see that I have three bodies one is the punch one is the actual bathtub and one is the a matrix to create these punch.